Hello, it's James from xrobots.co.uk. I've got my cloak on today, so I look like a Jedi. Or Harry Potter. Today I'm talking about lightsabers. I mentioned in the vlog that I was going to try and build a lightsaber that extends and retracts by itself. Um, a lot of the toy ones you get like these have um, a telescopic blade, but obviously you have to push it back in yourself. Um, this one's got a spring in it but it doesn't go back by itself, which is really annoying. So, um, you know, you have to push it back in. So, um, I've made a mechanical prototype that's very basic um, with switches on to make the blade go up and down, um, which does go up and down by itself. So let's have a closer look. Um, so here's my very crude prototype. I have to stress this is a very, very crude mechanical prototype only for the blade. Um, you know, the, the the hilt of this is made of cardboard, basically. It's got uh, the switches and the wiring are still on the outside, the buttons to make it go up and down. The blade is actually taken from um, one of the telescopic Hasbro lightsabers. Um, I had to put this plastic cap on the end so the blade sections cascade in the right order and the smallest one doesn't just fall down the middle of the blade when it goes back in. Um, so, you know, I've got um, a bit of plumbing pipe on the end there and a 3D printed ring that I made to make it the right size. But ultimately, this is just to show the mechanism for the blade going in and out. Um, there's no lights in it, there's no sounds in it or any other features. All right, so let's give that a go. There we go, and pretty much the uh, buttons will make it operate up and down. So I just want to add that there is plenty of space for lights and sounds like you get in the other um, Hasbro blasters. Um, there's space for a soundboard, there's space for some really bright LEDs, possibly laser pointers, um, and, th and there's plenty of opportunity to power it in this prototype. I just haven't put those in. So how does it work? Um, well, I'm not actually going to tell you right now. The mechanism for this is incredibly crude, and also it just broke when I was testing it. So. Um, Basically, I'm going to do a full build series for this. Um, I'm going to do a 3D printed hilt, and I'm going to probably use a different blade, and I'm going to put all the sounds and lights and all the electronics in, and uh, basically show how the mechanism works um, in probably a three or four part series. So make sure you subscribe to my channel. You should like my Facebook page for sneak peeks and updates, and also check out my website for more details, pictures, and links.